spaceship Solaron, with Twink and Blink trapped inside, was slowly orbiting the sun. Each circuit took it closer to the fiery rays. Meanwhile, Bleep Booster and the controller were speeding to the rescue, protected by the Space Cat's heat shield. But now they were so close to the sun that, despite the great protective umbrella, they too were exhausted. It's no use. We cannot go any closer. We cannot rescue the boys. Appearing from behind the sun on yet another orbit, the spaceship Solaron was glowing red hot. As the Solaron exploded, flying fragments seemed to fill the whole area of vision. The heat shield was sent spinning away from the sun, with Bleep Booster and the controller helpless inside. Twink and Blink must be done for! shrieked Bleep. Then, faintly at first, a continuous signal came through the loudspeaker. It is coming from the homing device in the Solaron's heatproof capsule chamber. We must set our course by it. Twink and Blink may have survived. The controller grasped the lever to set the heat shield turning on its axis. Now they were facing the opposite way, with the shield behind them, and the controller prepared to drive them still further from the sun by firing the retro rockets. At last they were heading away from the scorching sun and homing in towards the heatproof capsule. The boys used powerful binoculars to keep a lookout while the controller held them on course. But would they find the capsule undamaged? Suddenly, Booster pointed ahead. An object in front of them was growing larger and larger every moment. It was the heatproof capsule, and it appeared to be still in one piece. The controller maneuvered the heat shield to try and shelter the unprotected capsule from the sun. Put on your jetpacks, boys, and go after it, said the controller as he opened the cabin cover. <coughs> Propelled by jetpack, Bleep and Booster left the safety of the heat shield's cabin. Hurry, even our insulated spacesuits will not stand this heat for long. Dragging a rescue line behind them, they managed to approach the capsule. Contact was made and the rescue line secured. Hand over hand, the controller hauled in the capsule. Because of the weightless conditions, it required very little strength. Swiftly, Bleep and Booster and the capsule were drawn towards the cabin of the heat shield. And once the capsule was alongside, the boys were able to secure it underneath the cabin. A signal from the transmitter alerted them that a message was on its way from the Myron space freighter. And the captain's voice came over the loudspeaker. I have located you on my electronic map. We will rendezvous shortly. How did the rescue go? Are the boys safe? Over. We do not know. The capsule is secured and we hope Twink and Blink are safely inside. But we cannot release them as we have no extra protective clothing on board. Please hurry, Father. Twink and Blink must be very frightened. There it is. There's the Captain's space freighter, yelled Booster. The freighter loomed out of the limitless blackness of space. As the great cargo doors opened, the Captain himself directed the complicated rendezvous procedure. All set for link up. Come in slowly, controller and close your heat shield before entry. Over. The heat shield and capsule were maneuvered into a direct line with the cargo doors of the freighter, and slowly the heat shield began to close.
Very slowly, the heat shield moved towards the yawning jaws of the space freighter. The captain came hurrying across the deck as Bleep Booster and the controller climbed out of the heat shield cabin. Thank goodness you are alive and well. But what about Twink and Blink? Yes, let's open the capsule, cried Booster. The controller put on his heavy-duty insulated gloves and grasped the exit lever. They were alive, and apparently none the worse for their imprisonment. Oh, I do not ever want to be as hot as that again. I am hungry. I have lost a lot of weight. They all laughed with relief. At last, the tension of the past few hours was over. But soon, a meal was served, which they all enjoyed. I do not want to be angry with Twink and Blink after all they have been through, said the captain. But they certainly wrecked your new spaceship controller. But they also tested it for me. Thanks to them, I now know what improvements are needed. And thanks to them, Booster and I have had a great adventure. Yes, the best adventure of them all. <laughs>